color this hair i'm using my quick blue bleach with some 40 volume developer as well as 20 volume developer y'all i got this bomb genius trick from tiara monet y'all this trick like changed the game for my hair color so she used two different bleaching powders but i only had quick blue left on me so on one side i'm mixing in 20 volume developer and on the other side i'm gonna mix in 40 volume developer And for the bleach mixtures, you guys, I like them to be more on the watery side. Not like super, super loose, but I don't like it thick because it spreads easier when it is a looser consistency. So the hair that I'm using today is from Wire Wigs. Like I told y'all, this is not sponsored. Um, I got three bundles of 16 inch hair and the frontal is a 14 inch. So those little blonde pieces y'all see was a test piece, honey, because I just to make sure this hair could bleach before we went all in and ruined some hair, but it did just fine. So what I'm doing is splitting the hair into three sections. One section, I'm going to leave its natural brown color. This section right here will be 40 volume developer. And then that middle section, I will be putting 20 volume developer on. Okay, so before I flip that um, bundle over, I'm going to leave the section that I'm putting that 40 volume developer on, I'm gonna leave it on that side, and then I'm going to move on to that middle piece that I'm putting the 20 volume developer on to further like the dimension and the highlights and low lights and everything. So you guys are gonna see that I'm gonna pull a little bit more into the middle section from the third section that I'm leaving brown. Um, but y'all, Tierra is a freaking genius for this technique because, like, it cuts out you having to go back in and foil and put in low lights. Like, your color will turn out bomb like this. Just trust me because I trusted Tierra and she came all the way through because my color turned out bomb. So, this hair turns really fast, as you guys can see right there. The section that I put the 40 volume developer on, by the time I put the 20 on, it was already turning. So I turned it over. I'm applying more bleach to that section. Make sure that you open up the bleach and I'm also oh, open up the bleach girl, open up the bundle and make sure that you put bleach everywhere. Make sure that your bundles are heavily saturated. You do not want any dry patches or missing sections. Like make sure that it's bleach. Okay guys, so I'm just combing through the hair with a fine tooth comb and just slathering it on the bundle. Like I said, you guys wanna make sure that it's everywhere. And as you can see, the hair was already starting to turn, you guys, like this hair bleached so fast. I only left the bleach on the hair for like 15 minutes and you guys will see how light it got within that 15 minutes. So yeah, I love this hair so far. Um, I'll do a review on it pretty soon. But yeah, it's not giving me any problems and I've slept on it for like two, three days now and it hasn't given me any issues. So yeah. Um, okay, so I'm going to show you guys how to bleach your frontal without getting dye on it. So this bottom piece that you guys are looking at was pre-bleached when I did my sample piece and then I put some color on it to see how it would look. That top piece, I put color on it without bleaching it. So this will not work if you do not bleach the hair first. I was kind of reluctant to bleach this hair because i told you guys in part one that the frontal did have a lot of flyaways so i really didn't want to bleach it but i had to so i am placing the bleach on my hair in vertical strokes i'm not going horizontal i'm gonna show you guys that right there you do not want to leave it right there you will have a line of demarcation and it will look a hot mess don't do that brush strokes vertically up and down the hair that's what you want to do Make sure it's saturated, and I know somebody's gonna ask. Yes, I'm still using the quick blue bleach 40 volume developer, 20 volume developer. So, for this, you guys see I'm doing my how I'm doing my sections. So, say that last section I did 40, 
this section I'm doing 20, next section I do 40, next section I do 20. That's all I did. Um, I let the frontal bleach, I believe for 25 minutes. It didn't turn as fast as the bundles, but I will show you guys when I'm done doing this side, this still did turn really fast. So here's that first section I did and you guys can see it is already lightening by the time I got done doing the second side. So here's the color that I'm using. Make sure you pause it so you can get a screenshot. So I have a dark intense red blonde, a dark red brown, and a medium burgundy brown. I'm going to show y'all how I mix this up in a second, but I want to show you how to dye your frontal without ruining it. So I'm using a smaller brush and I'm going in those same vertical sections like I applied the bleach. Um, but I wanted to still get the color on my roots so my roots would still have like that reddish tint to it. So I'm going in with this Bomb Ace VB brush. I got it off of Amazon. I will link it down below. Girl, this brush is bomb. It makes sure that it gets the color, like it grabs a hold of the color and gets it as close to that lace without actually getting it on the lace. Like I love this brush so much. Okay, so I let my frontal process for about 50 minutes, like almost an hour, and it did turn out a little bit darker than my bundles, but my frontal was not bleached as light as my bundles to begin with because I told you guys it was on the thinner side on the sides and I did not want to damage it or over process it or anything like that, but I feel like it just gave my wig even more dimension, so that's fine with me. So here's how it turned out, but it's still wet, so you know it's darker when it's wet anyway. And as you guys can see, there is no color on that lace. We're gonna color the bundles now. So I'm brushing that out with my Ace VB brush and here are my three colors. So what I'm gonna do is pour my colors into this little um, color measuring cup. And I didn't pour the last one in there because it was too much and it would have overflowed. So I just poured the rest in there. So now I'm going to pour my 30 volume developer this cup is four ounces and the ratio of color for ion is one to one. But you guys, trust me, if you do more developer than color, your color will still turn out fine. Um, and I'm gonna show you guys, if you run out of color, just add some more developer to make it stretch. Learn that in cosmetology school. Trust me, it works. All right, so after I mixed the color up, I just pretty much slathered that color all over the hair made sure it's fully saturated from roots to tips and that's it you guys i had three bottles of color and that lasts for three bundles of 16 inch hair with a 14 inch frontal And make sure after you do that front section, I just brush that out with my Ace VV brush and then I flipped it over to make sure that I got the color everywhere and then I opened up the bundle to make sure that I got color all over the hair. So after I was done applying the color everywhere and brushing it out, I put it in some foil to process for about 45 minutes. So this is the third bundle right here and you guys can really see the dimension. You see some highlights, some low lights and all that good stuff. So like I said, you run low on color, put some more developer in it and mix that bad boy up and finish what you're doing sis. So yeah, I did that and then I'm gonna show you guys how each bundle turned out. And you guys will see each bundle has like different dimension, which I absolutely loved. So if y'all have any questions I didn't answer in the videos, just leave them down below and I will get back to you. And yeah, here's the finished product. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, and I'll catch y'all in part three.
juice. Blame it on my 